we have a 10 minute kettlebell calorie incinerator workout. What's up guys, welcome to Live Lean TV. I'm your host Brad Guthrie, the number one expert teaching you how to live lean 365 days a year. We have a 10 minute kettlebell calorie incinerator workout. If you don't have access to a kettlebell, just go grab a dumbbell, but the exercises that I have selected, it's best to use a kettlebell. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. If that's too difficult, scale it back. 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds rest. Get your kettlebell, and let's get to work. And before we get started, go grab your hit timer. I'll put a link down below the which one I use. Got it set for 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. That beat means we are in. Grab your kettlebell hip hinge here guys. So you're doing a one arm swing with your left arm. This is not a squat. This is the hips go back, hips drive through. Your shoulders are not the prime mover here. Your shoulders just guiding the weight up and down. Make sure you maintain that flat back. You should be feeling this in the posterior chain, so all through the hamstrings, the back, the glutes. Excellent, oh, total body workout here. Left arm kettlebell swing, 40 seconds. Make sure you're breathing throughout. There's the break, 20 seconds. We're moving on into the left arm front squat. So you're going to load up the weight, front squat rack position, elbow pointed forward, and squat down. I'll do this one facing the camera. Take a breath, 40 seconds, there you go. And up. So get down as deep into that squat as you can. Put your arm out to the side for balance. Engage that core. And make sure you keep your elbow pointed up and forward. You're gonna feel this once again, guys not only in the glutes and the hamstrings, in the quads, but also in your core as well to make sure you keep your chest upright. <sighs> Sweating already. 40 seconds, 20 second rest. <sighs> this one's gonna kill here guys. 10 minutes, all you got. <sighs> there you go, safely put the kettlebell down. 20 second rest, moving on into the snatch. Still, we're loading up that left side of the body. <sighs> We're doing a similar dumbbell or kettlebell swing, but it's snatch up over our head. Whew. Let's get ready. Here we go. And then press up and back down into the swing. So when you're at the top of the movement, it's like you're pressing through the sky. Make sure you're keeping that back flat again. This is not a squat. Still a hip hinge, but you're snatching the weight over your head as opposed to stomping it at chest level. This one is going to get you. Keep breathing. That's three exercises down. Moving on to our fourth exercise, the military press. Keeping it loaded on that left side. Then the next four or five exercises, we're switching to the right. Whew. Cleaned it up, and you're gonna press overhead, come back down into that front rack position, back up again. Shoulder exercise here to hit the deltoids. Make sure you keep your core engaged. You're gonna feel this in your obliques as well since we're only loading up one side of the body. Have that right side for balance. Try not to hyperextend your back. Keep the glutes turned on. Feet firmly placed through the ground. Let's go. 40 seconds. Oh man, saved by the bell there. Moving on to the next exercise. Moving back into two arms here. We're doing a goblet squat. Hopefully you guys are feeling good. Man, these kettlebells take a lot out of you. Pull it up, hold your kettlebell this way. Feet spread apart and squat down as deep as you can go. Back up again. I want you to hold that bottom of the goblet squat for a good one to two seconds to really feel a good stretch. From the side, looks like this. 
Make sure you keep your chest up, keep looking straight ahead. One 1,000, two 1,000, and up. Power through. Almost there, keep it going. Ah, halfway done, guys, good job. Let's keep it going here. We're now loading up the right side of the body. 20 second rest. Back to that one arm swing with the right hand. I'm gonna face the camera this time to show you direct on. Whew. And here we go. Hip forward. Your buns are gonna be on fire after this. If you're not feeling this in your glutes, you're probably doing more of a squat than a hip hinge. Remember, hips back, pelvis through. Your arm is just guiding you. It's not a front raise, it's not a shoulder exercise. It's for the posterior of the body, the backside. Ah. All right, almost there guys, keep it going. Hopefully you're enjoying this. Front squat, right side of the body, front rack position. Let me take it from the side. Whew, get some water if you need it, but that buzzer is gonna be coming soon. There we go. Clean it up, elbows pointing forward, down, up. Other arm is for balance. Ha, total body exercise. Every single muscle in our body is working. <sighs> Creating that epoch where not only are we burning calories during the workout, once we leave the workout, and for 24 to 48 hours after the workout, since this is an intense, high intensity style workout, we're gonna be burning even more calories while we sleep. Whew. <sighs> there you go. Safety put that kettlebell down. Moving on to the right arm, one arm snatch. Let's get some water. Damn. Kettlebells are no joke here. Whew. Let's go, no pain, no pain. Arm out, flat back, punch through the sky. Punch it up. Make sure you're keeping that back flat, guys. That's, that's important here. No throwing out any discs in our back. Strong back, strong core, strong glutes, strong hamstrings. Every muscle in our body is turned on. Oh, yes. Down, more water, more water. 10 minutes guys, one kettlebell. Look at the workout we're getting. <sighs> Military press, you are up next bitch. Let's go. There's the buzzer. Clean it up, front rack position, core turned on, and push. By now, your muscles should be just screaming at you. My shoulders are burning, my legs are burning, core is tight and turned on. Come on, baby. Breathe through the pain. Last exercise here, guys. Two arm snatch, overhead. But we're not going 40 seconds right now. We're going full out 60 seconds. This is beast mode time, live lean mode time. Turn that switch on. Let's get to work. Boom! Leave nothing on the gym floor. Power through those hips, pelvic thrust, think about it, 
I don't have to tell you what action that's like in real life. I think you guys get the point. No stopping here, guys. Stick with me. Two seconds left to the finish line. Oh, that's 40 seconds. We got 20 more to go. Maintain posture. If your posture's getting shitty, you're getting tired, stop. No injuries when you're living lean. There you go. Damn. That was just 10 minutes of work. Woo, the sweat's coming down. Hopefully your body is feeling good. That workout, guys, that is no joke. That's my second time doing it today because I designed it this morning. I went and put myself through it. I tell you, I was not looking forward to coming back here filming it tonight. But now that it's done, I feel absolutely awesome. And if you like these quick workouts, guys, I want you to check out livelean15.com. That right there is my digital DVD program where you're working out beside me just like this. It's all real time. I'm coaching you through it. I'm doing the workouts with you. So go check out livelean15.com for body weight workouts that you can do at home, no exercise equipment at all, and you can live lean in as little as 15 minutes. Hope you enjoyed that workout. If you did, and I know you did, Click that like button down there and subscribe to this channel because we shoot with episodes every Monday and Thursday. I need to catch my breath. Thanks for watching, guys. And keep living lean.